so hi everyone welcome back to the channel and uh, so this time i'm gonna be uh, i'm gonna do a big video uh, i'm gonna do one just one video for the afc champions league east zone uh, so i'm gonna uh, do uh, for yes today's games and yesterday's games even though these two are uh, today's games um, I'm gonna do just one video yesterday I couldn't do it so I'm gonna do it today uh, so and that's and so that's even also why I don't have the uh, scores here written also because I want to talk about the single uh, teams and how they performed and my vision on uh, their situation after a match week two after two games in this group stage of the AFC Champions League as you can see here I have a new board so I'm gonna try to uh, go here and there so you can see uh, pretty much everything hopefully and uh, let's start from here let's start from Incheon against Kaya football club and honestly Kaya football club I like their game against Shandok Taishan in match week one I thought that they could perhaps be a little bit of uh, for a hustle for Incheon to, to win to beat but yeah, I mean, the game was really easy for Incheon from the beginning. Uh, the game finished 4 0, it could have finished 5 or 6 0. Um, yeah, I mean, I was a, a little bit surprised by that, but probably it's a mix of a couple of things. Uh, the first one is that probably Kaya Football Club is a little bit tired uh, because, of course, like not every team is uh, prepared and as deep as you have to be for uh, compete in uh, league competition and uh, perhaps the domestic cup and uh, and uh, the asian uh, the asian competition that gives you a lot of travel as well like a lot of flights and so if you are not really used to that and uh, you don't have so many players that you can exchange them between uh, games and games you can be affected from that and that's one thing that uh, perhaps happen is happening with Kaya. And the other thing is that Inter Knight is playing well. He's playing well. Uh, they are in the fight for the uh, top half in the K-League right now. I think they can do it. It's difficult uh, because they have a tough opponent next match week. But, um, I mean, they're playing well. And they showed that against Yokohama F. Marios in the first game. And now against Kaya Football Club. In uh, this one, uh, Yokohama Foreigners that have pl played against Shandong Taishan in China and they came up with a big win, a 2 0. Um, it was a balanced game, it was like you see this result, they thought you can think, oh, okay, so Yokohama played better, but no, um, it was balanced, so really balanced. Everything, um, any team could have opened the scoring, and when you open the scoring in these games. Uh, may, most of the times you 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 come away from with it. So that's what happened with, with your call, my friends. They opened the scoring, they came away from it with it. So good for them. They get the first three points. Uh, that's really important for their qualif qualification uh, aspirations. For Shandong Taishan, a tough loss uh, in front of their home crowd. The the stadium was full. Was nice to see. But yeah, I mean, uh, tough luck, but uh, the next one against Inter United is going to be really, really interesting. Um, let's jump to uh, the, this other group, the Johor Daruta Zim group, BG Patum, Usa Yunde Kawasaki Frontale. Let's start with from the left, like the other game. Uh, so Kawasaki Frontale was facing Usa Yunde in Japan. It was a really balanced game. Seemed that uh, Kawasaki Frontale was playing a little bit better, but not uh, better enough to win it. But then uh, Wakizaka, if I'm not wrong, uh, scored an absolutely beautiful goal. Uh, go check it out if you haven't seen it. From outside the area, an absolute banger puts Kawasaki Frontale in front and he gives his team the three points, three really important points for Kawasaki Frontale in this tough group. And Usa Hyundai, tough luck. Uh, they seemed uh, uh, like they seem like in the verge of getting that point in uh, in a not easy away game, especially because Kawasaki Frontale now they don't really have league aspirations. They're 
concentrated in the domestic cup and in the Champions League. So, yeah, great win for Kawasaki Frontale and what a goal! Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, BG Patum against Jordan Rutazim. Jordan Rutazim wins in good fashion as PG Patum. It wasn't an easy game, it was basically uh, a goal for BG Patum, a goal for Jordan Rutazim. A goal for BG Patum, Jordan Rutazim. But uh, the Malaysians played better. The Malaysians played better. They were uh, better placed on the field. And yeah, I mean, uh, BG Patum showed that they are competitive. They can fight to, the, to be in the top two in this group. But it's not going to be easy. It's uh, probably the toughest group in... I don't know if it is the toughest group. But really, this is probably... No, not the only one, but it's one of those groups where uh, every every one of the every, each one of the four teams can win it. So, but Jordan Rutazim, three important points to get it in this away game, and yeah, they they were convincing. They played really well, so congrats to them, really. And uh, now let's go with the Kichi Lion City Sailors team, uh, Sailors game. So. Uh, Again, I talked on how Hong Kong teams are playing better, are developing well and everything. And we've seen that. Kichi is playing good football but, and they are competitive, but Singapore teams are competitive as well. They're developing as well. And Lyle City Sailors showed that they can do whatever they want. So they wanted to win and they did it. They almost came up with points against Bangkok United in the previous game. And now they get this win against Kichi, 2-1, to one, really important one. And talking still about this group, and we are going to the other board, uh, Bangkok United gets a really, really important win and great win against John Book. Um, I mean, uh, really, Bangkok uh, wasn't any, like, there wasn't any kind of fatigue, there wasn't any kind of anything from John Book in this game. Um, and Jumbo uh, against Jum, uh, Bangkok against Jumbo, and Jumbo really they are not showing nothing great really uh, lately. Lately they are not doing what they are supposed to do, what we are used to see them doing in the last few years. And yeah, I mean they they come up with a, a tough loss in Thailand, and now they have to be focused. The, they have to be focused for their cave because they are in verge like they are like Incheon they are in that fight to be in the top half and they need to win they need to make points otherwise they there is to be in the bottom half and their season in the K league would be uh, basically over uh, they are uh, competing in the domestic cup as well luckily for them that's gonna happen uh, that's gonna start in November and so they're gonna the semi finals gonna be in November, and uh, yeah, they have to hope that for that, for that game, they're gonna be ready, and uh, yeah, they need to refocus. They would, I think, if they win the next one in the K League, they get in top half of the K League the championship group. They would be, uh, they can, they perhaps can regroup at that point and also uh, recover a little bit in the uh, AFC Champions League because they won against Kichi in the first game but that wasn't a great, great win and now they have this loss against Bangkok United Bangkok United is a great team, don't get me wrong but Jumbuk, uh, besides the, the team that they are facing that if they are good or not, they are not playing well they are not playing as they should now let's talk about the Jejang Melbourne City game that's a surprising result. That's a surprising result. I wasn't expecting Melbourne City to be as competitive right now uh, because especially they didn't show great football in the, in the uh, game against Ventford at Kofu in the first game of the AFC Champions League. They didn't show great football in the Australia Cup that I saw, I watched and yet they didn't, I didn't see anything great by them. So I thought, okay, in the AFC Champions League, they're going to struggle. But no, they come up with a big win against Jejang. Jejang, yes, they've lost in big time against Buriram United in the first game. But they've won the last two games in the, in the Chinese Super League 
in with ease, absolute ease, and they are third right now in the Chinese Super League, and they're fighting for the second spot. So to be in the AFC Champions League elite next year, but really they come up with a loss at home against Melbourne City. That again, now I have to to reconsider. Probably they're a better team than I thought. Perhaps the Australia Cup game, the first game against Brentford at Kofu, made them uh, improve a little bit. And uh, another thing that I have to say about the game against Ventford at Kofu, Ventford at Kofu have beaten Buriram United and we have to talk about that. I don't know if it is the first time ever in the Champions League, but uh, second league, second tier, second division, whatever you want to call it, team has won a game and that's historical, however you want to see it. Um, I mean, and uh, watching the game, I wasn't like, oh, Buriram is playing bad. No, no, Buriram played pretty well, I have to say. Uh, they were playing in the Tokyo National Stadium, uh, stadium so they weren't playing uh, in uh, Ventford Kofu uh, home field. But yeah, I mean, uh, historical win, well-deserved win against Buriram United that, again, didn't play bad. And Buriram United is the same team that uh, is on the top in the Thai league, they are Thai champs and they've beaten big time Jay Jung in the first game of the Champions League. So that's something to, to consider. And Ventford Kofu, now they are in the fight to qualify and that would be absolutely incredible. Um, now let's go with the Urawa, Hanoi and Bonk Steelers 1-3 uh, towns group. Urawa with the East, the Asian champs uh, won this one with ease against to Hanoi. Hanoi, um, Hanoi, I mean, I saw them against Bonk Steelers in the first game in Vietnam. Uh, they showed great football for the last for the first twenty five minutes. Then they fallen off. Here against our Reds, we haven't even seen that. Uh, I think Hanoi just need to regroup a little bit now and start to think. Okay, uh, we need to work on some on some things. And uh, let's get a point. Now let's get a point. Let's start to roll in this Champions League uh, campaign and then everything will work out. But first, let's get that first point. Let's get... You need to go step by step. You don't need to think about the Bohang Steelers game, uh, the game in Japan against Urawa Reds. No, you need to think that you need to go step by step. And that's the most important thing. Urawa Reds... Um, they, they they had a pretty convincing game against one uh, three towns that was tie in China two to two, um, and yeah I mean now against Hanoi great win uh, their focus now is going to be in the J League because they are in the fight to get that now they are third there perhaps they hope to get that second spot but at least to retain the third spot is very important for them and there is a big fight for with a lot of other teams so that's what they're going to be focused now. On and uh, the Bong Steelers beat one three times three to one at home in uh, Korea, and I have to say, uh, one three it was a balanced game, and with Bohang playing a little bit better, but then one three times had a uh, player ejected for uh, after a VAR review because there was a really bad foul on a Bohang Steelers player, and at that point the game basically was over. Bohang Steelers pushed a lot. They found the second goal and then towards the end of the game they found the third and the final one that gives them uh, six points in this group, six important points that puts them in first place uh, in this group. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. A lot of games, a lot of fun, the Champions League is really nice. And yeah, I thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please consider putting a like, consider subscribing to this channel if you like it. And I hope to see you all very, very soon. Thank you very much.